What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? Summertime fishing's in full swing. My name is Rich. Welcome back to this week's episode of What's New at TW. Got some awesome products and some awesome new apparel here to rock at your local lakes. The temperature's up, the fish are biting. Let's get into it. All right, starting it off from Cast King. This is the new Valiant Eagle 2 BFS reel. So this is a really cool compact BFS reel from Cast King. Super smooth retrieve. Um, another cool thing about this is it has that feather spool. So you have that really shallow spool. You'll be able to spool your really light braid or fluoro, mono, whatever, your light line on here and make those super long casts. It only weighs 4.8 ounces and I have about probably medium sized hands, but I mean, you can see how tiny this thing fits into my palm here. I'm not a lefty. I wouldn't be holding the reel like this out on the lake, but this is a super ergonomic reel, super smooth, and you'll be able to fling those 1 16th, even 1 32nd ounce bait a mile with this thing. So check out the Valiant Eagle 2 by Cast King and put on your favorite, favorite finesse rod this year and definitely take it out on your local water. All right, next up from Ray Japan. So this is kind of piggybacking on one of the big new trends in bass fishing, it's dice baits. This is the one-way hybrid by Ray Japan. So this is a super cool high, high density soft plastic bait. Uh, one of those baits that it's kind of a kind of a creature bait with all these appendages coming off of it. It has these two kind of like pronounced little flaps up here that's gonna move a ton of water. Um, you wanna, you're gonna wanna drop shot this when fish are feeding on little crustaceans or crawfish. All these appendages are kinda gonna pull back in the water and look like a crawfish or a little freshwater shrimp scuttling around. Um, it's gonna draw in a lot of predators looking in for that like smaller crustaceans, even invertebrates like bugs, anything small in the water that they might be feeding on on a tough bite. These dice, dice baits are a proven way to get a really solid bite in tough conditions. Definitely check out the one-way hybrid from Ray Japan. All right, up next, the fishing magician tackle company Tracer Shad here. So this is uh, basically a, th a cast and retrieve bait here. So you're gonna wanna throw this, this, this bait up around shallow grass, shallow cover, anywhere where there might be shad spawning up shallow. And you're just gonna wanna do a straight retrieve with this. And what this thing's gonna do is basically uh, come back along the surface and it's gonna have this, uh, this pressed willow, willow blade kicking behind it and just create a ton of action. Kind of just, it's kind of just like a realistic hard bait that you're gonna wanna burn through areas where fish are aggressively feeding on shad in the morning. Great alternative to throwing a topwater bait or like a fluke, um, gives them something new to look at and the shad spawns coming up this summer and later this fall, this could be a really popular bait that um, catches some big fish. So that's the Fish and Magician Tackle Company Tracer Shad. All right, up next from Decoy. So this is the Hydra Tail 5. So this is a super realistic trout bait. Um, they have some really cool patterns. The one I'm holding here is kind of this like more natural native color trout, but they also have some like um, some colors that reflect those like natural stock trout or even kokanee in your local lake. So anytime those bass are feeding on that five, six inch trout or kokanee, um, this is a great option. It's gonna have a nice slow sink. And one thing I do also I wanna call out about this bait is that hydra tail. It's gonna have that really subtle kick and it's gonna move some water, but it's gonna stay nice and upright in the water and just come through super smooth. You have another, uh, you have another line tie on the bottom here in case you wanted to add a split ring and a hook. Um, to the belly in case you're getting short strikes or something, or you can just leave it naturally rigged with the top hook, fish it over the top of grass or cover, wherever big bass are laid up. This is a great bait when you need to downsize and get bites in the summer um, when they're feeding on this stuff. So definitely check out the Decoy Hydra Tail 5 inch. All right, up next from Nishin Lure Works. So this is the Smelthead Plus, and this is a super dense, um, underspin bait. So basically what you have here is a 90 degree line tie with a really dense lead head. This is actually a one ounce, believe it or not. So it's gonna get down quick, but it's also gonna stay upright in the water column when you retrieve it. That 90 degree line tie on that pointed head, it's gonna deflect off cover super well. You have some cool like holographic eyes in there and then a really nice uh, hammered stainless steel blade and, and bear, high quality bearing there with some split rings. So this is a really great bait to pair with your favorite soft plastic paddle tail or even a fluke style bait and kind of roll it around that deeper cover in the summer months. So um, anytime bass are feeding on like shad and you want to get a reaction bite, um, but you don't want to throw a crankbait, this is a great option. You have this conical uh, uh, plastic keeper on here as well. It's really going to lock your plastic in place. So that is the Nishin Lure Works Smelt Head Plus. All right, up next from Lucky Craft, this is the Stacy 110 SP. So this is um, Lucky Craft, they make this in the, in the 90 
uh, millimeter size, but this is the upgraded 110 size. So anytime you wanted to get down into that eight to 10 foot range, and you still want that bigger profile of bait to make those longer casts, this is the lure for you. I believe this weighs about a half an ounce and it has some really nice rattles and uh, beads in there to call fish in from miles away. And um, everyone knows who's fished Lucky Crafts over the years know how good these things look in the water, the, the tight pitch rolling action on these baits, everything from the quality bill um, down to the hooks and the split rings on this thing, the 3D eyes, I mean, just really high quality components. Um, and a great bait to kind of fish any suspended fish this summer, um, any fish relating to cover. Again, getting down to that eight foot range. So really good mid-depth jerk bait when uh, fish are keyed in on kind of that larger forage. So that is the Lightning Stacy 110 SP by Lucky Craft. Alrighty, up next from Duo Realis. So this is the four inch Versus Shad. So they make the Versus, Versus Shad in the five and six inch model. This is the four inch and it's gonna be a little bit slimmer body. So one thing with these slimmer body swim baits is you're gonna get that, not only that nice tail beat, but you're gonna get that kind of that slow rolling action on the bait. Some of those wider, fatter swim baits, they're not gonna roll as much. They just kind of come straight through the water and just paddle, which is great, they get bites. But this thing, if you rig it with a small jig head or an underspin or even a weedless hook um, you're, and you fish it the right way, you're gonna get a rolling action on it, which is gonna cause, which is gonna trigger a lot of fish to bite. Um, another thing I'd like to call out about this bait is you have a really big hook slot in the bottom for rigging weedless and you also have a hook slot in the back for, uh, for kind of tucking that hook point up in there and getting it through cover super easily. You have a ribbed underbelly and also this kind of like pronounced plastic uh, before the tail section of the bait, which is gonna just help it stay upright and kind of lend to that, you know, that rolling back and forth uh, in conjunction with the tail kick, which is gonna get a ton of bites. Um, so that's the Duo Realis Versa Shad 4 inch. All right, up next from Fisher Dive Bait Company. This is the 2.8 inch sharp shooter. So this is a super cool finesse bait, kind of when you need to downsize. Fish are kind of feeding on those like small darter minnows, even helgramets. This is a really good bait to rig on a net head, Nico rig, drop shot. Um, just a really good option to give some of the fish something different to look at when you need to downsize and clear water. Um, you have some nice appendages coming up here off front that are gonna kind of uh, angle back as you pull it through the water and just create a lot of um, a nice subtle motion and, and descent in the water from that kind of fluke style tail on there. So again, I would, I would think this bait on a net head would just perform great and get a ton of bites on the fall. Um, another thing about Fish or Die Bait Company is they donate a, a portion of their proceeds to veteran foundations, which is a really cool cause. Um, so definitely support Fish or Die Bait Company. Check out the sharpshooter and throw it in your finesse situations up here this summer. So check out these guys. Um, that's the Fish or Die Bait Company 2.8 inch sharpshooter. All right, guys, up next, this is one I'm super excited about. This is a California company. Um, kind of based out of Southern California, but um, applicable to salt, saltwater and freshwater bass fisheries around the world. These are the Viking heads and we got them in stock. This is a new vendor at TW. Um, this one here, this mint color, this is the swing head. So I'll start with this one. So this is the Viking, uh, the Viking head swing head. So this is a one ounce bait here. It has a really dense head and this thing was originally designed for fishing saltwater bass around rock structure, riprap walls or kelp. Um, it has a really sh sticky, sharp owner hyperwire extra wide gap hook, um, and you have an owner hyperwire split ring on here too. So just a super, super strong hook and split ring um, connection to this lead head. And then the style and kind of finish on this lead head is just super durable. You're gonna be able to bang this thing off rocks, really fish it hard around cover, and trigger bites when pairing this thing with your favorite paddle tail. Um, I can only imagine the amount of applications um, for freshwater bass throwing this thing around deeper cover or even yo-yoing it around like tree branches or stuff um, with, with a four or five inch swim bait. I have a feeling that's gonna trigger some big bites. So like I said, designed for saltwater bass, but plenty of opportunity for crossover into the freshwater realm. That is the Viking Heads Swing Head. And this is the one ounce mint. <clears throat> And this is the Viking, head, Viking Heads Finesse Head. So this is kind of more downsized presentation. This is one of those more smelty, more minnow style baits, really large three, 3D realistic eyes, and also a nice durable finish on this bait. Um, you have a really solid uh, barbed 
a built-in lead keeper on the shank of the hook and a 90 degree line tie. So this thing's gonna stay super upright in the water. You're gonna wanna pair this thing with your smaller swim baits, your smaller fluke style baits. I'm sure some FFS guys would be fishing this thing on their, on their forward facing units, but also great for those Northern fisheries, smallmouth fisheries where guys are using those minnow style heads and baits. Um, just give, give the fish something different. Um, check it out. They, this one comes with a mustad hook. Uh, this is the Viking Heads finesse head. And this is the quarter ounce green bait fish. Really cool colors on these guys as well. All right, guys, so on top of all this awesome new tackle, over the last month, we got a, a whole bunch of new apparel um, available at Tackle Warehouse. Head over to the new product section on the website and check this stuff out. Um, we got some new sun shirts. We got the new Foothills logo like I'm wearing now. Really cool, kind of vintage, classic look. And then one of my favorites as well is this new State Park logo. So not only do we have these kind of cool new lifestyle shirts, but we have some really cool new hat designs. Um, we got this nice patriotic one as well. This has a foam brim up front. Um, and you can see some of these other designs here would just look super fly. Um, rolling up to the local boat ramps at your, at your lake. So definitely go ahead, check out the new apparel on our, on our website. Um, shop all the stuff only available at Tackle Warehouse. This is exclusive apparel um, and definitely gear up with some of this stuff to hit the water at your uh, local lakes this summer. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New at TW. If you liked any of the products in this video, go ahead and comment below. Let us know which one was your favorite one. To shop any of the products, go ahead and check out the link in the description and we'll catch you next time.